Eleven days on from the start of Operation Mustarak in Helmand, the overall commander in southern Afghanistan has told the BBC that troops are still making progress. We've reported on the challenges faced by soldiers on the ground, but what about the role of the men and women in the skies above? Our defence correspondent, Caroline Wyatt, is in Kandahar, where she spent the day with 9 Squadron from RAF Marham. We've got 38 on the right, 40 on the left today. Somewhere wrong. It's early morning in Kandahar, and the RAF tornado crews are flying round-the-clock missions, protecting the troops below. In the skies high above Helmand, tornado pilot, Flight Lieutenant Scott, and navigator, Flight Lieutenant Napton, are on their first sortie of the day. Weather for the rest of the week, it's uh, a bit of instability creeping in. Um, it started with a weather briefing before they run through what their tasks will be. Their main role, offering close air support to NATO forces on the ground, anywhere in Afghanistan. At the start of Operation Mosharak, they flew in one week, the same hours they'd normally fly in a month. It was what we trained to do, so to actually get there and achieve that, that end result of doing it for real is quite rewarding. The RF's tornadoes have been in service for around 28 years, and the squadron that's been here since January has already flown more than 200 sorties and played a vital role in Operation Mosharak. On one mission, 9 Squadron's commander had to locate and then bomb a Taliban rocket position to help soldiers under fire, using the tornado's sophisticated camera pod to find the target. We had intelligence that there was a rocket pointing at them about a kilometre north of the village. We put our pods down onto the ground, located the rocket, and after 15 minutes of going through the targeting process and then actually ascertaining there were no civilians in the area, we uh, destroyed the rocket. This was the moment of impact filmed from the tornado, flying at seven miles a minute, thousands of feet up. But such footage, usually classified, isn't just about dropping bombs. The tornado crews spend up to a third of their time using the plane's cameras to film intelligence material, showing exactly what's happening on the ground. In a tiny office, the men and women of the tactical imagery wing are busy analysing the pictures the air crews brought back today. It can even be viewed in 3D, showing the height of compound walls or changes to the road surface that could betray the presence of a roadside bomb. This is saving lives. Absolutely, that, that's our primary objective here, is to save lives and to remove the IED threat from on the ground. As the tornadoes return, the engineers have hours of maintenance to do to make sure that nothing goes wrong in the air. But for the others, as darkness falls, it's the end of a long working day. There's just enough time to relax at the airbase cafe ahead of an early night and another dawn start tomorrow. Caroline Wyatt, BBC News, Kandahar.